The case statement. We've seen quite a lot of SQL functionality so far in this course. You might be wondering about a specific feature in SQL that you've seen in Microsoft Excel or other programming languages. Conditional logic. How does SQL handle conditional logic? Does SQL have an if statement that you can use to display something based on a condition? Does it use if else logic somewhere? It does, but it's not called if. There are a couple of functions that you can use to do this, but the best way, in my opinion, is to use something called a case statement. The case statement is a keyword with a specific syntax that lets you perform conditional logic in SQL. It looks like this. Here is a rough outline of a case statement. It's called a case statement instead of a function because it doesn't contain brackets and it has multiple parameters here and a lot of optional parameters. It starts off with the case keyword. We then have the when keyword. After the when keyword is where you put your condition. This is a condition that you can test for and needs to be either true or false, such as if an order credit is equal to 10. If the condition is true, so if that order credit is equal to 10, then we have a particular output, which is the value that's shown in this column if that condition is true. We can then have another when clause here, when condition then output, which is the same as above but with a different condition. You can have many more when clauses within your case statement that each cater to different conditions. Finally, we have the end keyword and then the name of the field that you want to display this as. Optionally, you can have an else keyword here. This will let you define what the output would be if none of the conditions are true. Let's actually write a case statement and see what the output is. We're going to write a case statement based on the order credit column here. We're going to define the order credit and group them into either a high or a low credit. Anything that has a value of above 50, we'll call a high credit. So let's change this keyword here from condition to order credit greater than 50. And our output will be the word high. Our next condition is less than or equal to 50. And we'll display the value of low. We'll remove the else keyword. And we're going to call this column here credit level. Let's run this query. We can see the output here. We have several values of low, several of high and a value of null. So here we've used conditional logic, which is essentially an if statement, to look at the order credit column and display a value of low if the order credit is 50 or less, or a value of high if it's more than 50. So you can see this case statement is actually quite powerful. There is a simpler syntax to run a case statement which might be more suitable to you. The syntax that we've just run is called the searched case statement. The alternative is called simple case statement. And this is where we put the column name after the word case. So instead of putting the column name and the condition in each when clause, we put the column name first and then we put the condition. This makes it simpler because in each when clause here, we're just checking that the order credit is equal to the specified value here. The problem with this is that it only does an equals match. You can't do a less than or a greater than match between the value that you want and the column here. So if I run this query here, it will show me a low value for both of the values that I've specified if they're found but null for everything else. If I want to have an output for every value, 
I'll need to have a when clause or a line for each of these possible values here. Now in this particular column, it might not make sense to have a simple case statement. But if you have some kind of status value or a value where there's only a few different options, then the simple case statement might make more sense to you. Otherwise, this format at the top, the searched case statement, where the condition and the column is on the same line here, might make more sense. I use the searched syntax a lot more than the simple syntax. So as you can see, case statements are very useful for this kind of logic in SQL.